Welcome back to another reading vlog. You're gonna do me a favor and you're gonna pretend you don't see how horrible my hair looks today because it is just a bad hair day. So we're just gonna pretend it's, it doesn't exist today, okay? It's Friday afternoon and I just wanted to pop on here really quick just to talk about what I'm reading, which as of right now is only one book and I'm hoping to finish it this weekend. And that is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I was able to read a little bit last night. So I got to chapter 10, which is page 130. Really, really enjoying it. And as I said, I'm hoping to actually finish it this weekend. I definitely used to be the type of reader that I would try to read as many books as I possibly could, as quickly as I could. I've transitioned from that to just reading books at a leisurely pace where I can enjoy them. And I'm not putting this pressure on myself to try to read them as quickly as I can. I just want to read and enjoy it. As far as the plans for this weekend, tomorrow morning I have to go drop off some materials to a woman that is going to make items for my 2K giveaway on Instagram. I talked about this in another vlog, but if you don't follow me on Instagram. Here it is. I'm going to be announcing hopefully on Sunday is the plan. Probably the day this video goes up is the day I'll announce the giveaway on my Instagram. I can talk about what the giveaway items are going to be because by the time this video goes up hopefully that will already be announced. So I'm having a t-shirt made, a bunch of bookmarks, a tote bag, and hopefully some bookish stickers if I can get another woman to make those for me in time. I am super 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 excited. I think it's gonna get a lot of people talking and hopefully we'll have a lot of entries and have some fun. My main priority this weekend is dropping those materials off to her and then picking them up on Sunday and then creating the Instagram post on Sunday to actually announce it. So if you're like me and you love things that have bookish sayings like the tote bag, the t-shirt, the stickers, the bookmarks have some funny sayings that we, I'm, I know we've all heard in the bookish community and I loved them so much that I wanted to create my own bookmarks with them. If all those things excite you, make sure you go follow me on Instagram and you can enter for a chance to win all those things. Anyways, that's enough talking for the intro of this vlog. I'm gonna make sure I try to get as many clips of things I do this weekend as I can. That's enough of me babbling. Let's go ahead and get into the vlog. everyone so it's saturday and i'm down at my father-in-law's house my husband's helping him do some stuff outside so ari and i are hanging out in the living room i'm trying to get her to nap but it's not really working i've been working on my book on the come up i've gotten to page 196 i'm enjoying it i i'm definitely not as engrossed as i was with the hate you give but i'm enjoying it all the same then i also brought my journaling materials because i have really fallen off just like my personal journal, the one you know that I wrote my feelings and stuff in. So I'm hoping once I get Aria to nap, I can sit down and write an entry, updating it, and hopefully get it back into my daily routine to write in that journal. So as I said, I'm gonna try to get, she's just looking at me. I'm gonna try to get Aria down for a nap so I can journal a little bit and hopefully get some more reading done. I will make sure to check in with you guys later and try to include some clips of anything else we end up doing while we're down here.
I can't believe I'm finally sitting down and showing you the items that I ordered for the giveaway. <laughs> so let me show you what I got. All right, so the first thing I got is actually a pack of bookish stickers, and these were done by my friend Amber. I'm gonna link her links down below. She's on Facebook as Arts by Amber. And so she made me, and I'll include close-ups, but she made me all of these bookish stickers. Y'all, they are so cute. One says, I work to support my reading addiction. And then just some really pretty, just aesthetic book pictures. I'm going to definitely take some of these and put them on my reading journal. This one says, I like to party and by party, I mean read books. That ain't me, I don't know what is. So once again, I will leave Amber's links down below in case you wanna order anything from her. The other few items were done by my friend Tracy. Um, if she gives me a business email, I will link it below. If not, she doesn't really do this as a side gig, but she's incredible at what she does and you're absolutely going to agree with me when I show you these things. The first few items are some bookmarks. They have a few sayings. So one is treat yourself. I got 99 problems, but my shelves ain't one. She believed she could, but she was really tired. So she didn't. Silence, please. And then I read past my bedtime. So these bookmarks, you're going to get 10 in total, two of each saying. Then they have a variety of tassels and backgrounds. So a few of them will just have a plain background. Some will have this white marble with this metallic gold veining. And then some will have this really pretty iridescent background to them. So these I am so excited for. There are actually several left over that I'm gonna keep some for myself and then I'll give some away to some of my friends. All right, next is a t-shirt. So this one is a size extra large. Whoever the winner is, I will order one in their size. And it just says bibliophile with the uh, uh, dictionary definition. And it's a person who collects or has a great deal of books. But it's just a plain black t-shirt. I love that. I'm going to be wearing mine all the time, I can tell. And then the last item I have, I think might be my favorite. It's either this one or the stickers, but it's a tote bag and it says, my weekend is all booked. Pretty gold metallic for the word booked. I am obsessed with this. I had her make two because I knew I would want one for myself. So this is the last item that's included in the giveaway. Now that you've seen all the items in order to enter the giveaway for a chance to win all of these prizes, you will have to go to my Instagram. The post will be linked right down below and it'll tell you exactly how you can enter. So I didn't get a chance to read much just because I was so focused on getting this giveaway set and getting all the items together and actually posting the announcement. So last night I got to page 284. So I think I have 150 pages or so left. As I said, I am enjoying it. I definitely don't connect with our main character as much as I did um, in The Hate You Give. And I don't know if it's because, you know, this is a YA book and I am 24 years old. So I don't necessarily fit that demographic I just find her to be immature but like then again she's what 15 16 so she's bound to have flaws in her character in that sense don't know if that's a me problem or what this book is falling at a strong three and a half four star rating right now so it's not like it's a bad book or anything i really like the messages i really like where angie thomas takes the reader and the scenarios we have to see played out and while they're very, very hard to read, they're definitely necessary and they're something that as a white woman, I don't ever have to go through these things. So I really like that this opens my eyes to situations that I wouldn't necessarily ever be put in. I will definitely include my thoughts probably in the next vlog. I'm hoping to finish this today or tomorrow. When I do finish it, I'll give you more fleshed out thoughts on it. I'm actually going to go ahead and end the vlog here so I can get this up. And for those of you that only follow me on YouTube, you can see it and have enough time to enter in order for a chance to win. Mm -hmm.